Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. Today we are going to create, stop motion paper story effect, like this. So let's get started. But before the start, I would like to thanks Farpo Bat for becoming a channel member. Thanks, I appreciate your support. Anyway, let's jump into the After Effects. First create a composition, 1920 by 1080, and it's called the main comp. Then drag your background image into timeline. Select image and pre-compose them. This is our background placeholder. Resize this comp little bit, so that when we animate it, it can cover our entire composition. Now drag crumpled white paper into the timeline. We will make it a little bigger. Parent this white paper with the background layer. So that when we animate the background layer, the white paper will automatically animate with it. Now select the background layer and hit P for the position and hit Shift R for rotation. Then go to the first frame and add a keyframe. Then hold Shift and page down key to jump 10 frames forward. Then move the position little bit and also rotate the layer. Then again hold Shift and page down key to jump 10 frames forward, and move the position, and also rotate the layer. In this way, you can do as many seconds of animation as you want. I am just showing you example. I am skipping this part so that you do not have to wait. After applying all the keys, you can see that our animation is not visible like we saw in our preview, and at the moment this is not look like stop motion, so select all keyframe, Right click and choose toggle hold keyframe. This will hold the animation between our keyframes. Let's preview this. Cool. We forgot to do one thing. We have to multiply the layer mode of our white paper. Perfect. It's look good to me. Now we need to add text here, so create a new composition, width around 1200 pixels, and height around 400 pixels. This is our text one comp. Now add your text here. Now we want to change font, so we have a special tool for it, and this is absolutely free. Download the AE Juice Pack Manager, and you can find the download link in description. After installed AE Juice Pack Manager, here you can find Font Preview, and type your text here. By the way, this is not a sponsored video from AE Juice. Here you can see that all our fonts are visible, and you can easily choose one of them. Suppose I like this font. Just select the font and click Apply. And here you can see that, our font has been applied, similarly, you can choose any of these fonts, I also want change my font. Now you can change font color any color of your choice. And increase the stroke size. As you can see our font overlapping here, so just increase the vertical alignment. Perfect. Now search rough and edges effects, you can see our edges rough, select edges type spiky. Change border around 10. And change the scale around 300. Now duplicate this rough and edges effects. And change edge type cut. 
and increase the border around 30. And also increase the scale around 440. You are free to play these setting, I am just showing you example. Now go to project window and drag crumpled white paper image into timeline. And change mode normal to multiply, as you can see, this paper has covered our entire composition. But we only need this paper above our text, so just hit turn on this transparency icon. So what it will do is transpose the next side of our text, you can see here. Now go to main comp. Drag text 1 into the composition. Now we will animate it, as we have animated our background layer. I want our text to come down from the top. So go to the first frame, and hit P for position, and Shift R for rotation, and add a keyframe, and move the text outer side of composition. Then hold Shift and page down, to move 10 frame forward. And gradually we will bring down our text position, and also rotate the text. Again go to 10 frames forward, and move the position and rotation the text lay a little bit. After animating this, select all keyframes, right click, and choose toggle hold keyframe. Perfect, it's look good to me. Do the same with other text layer, but first of all, go to project window and duplicate the text one comp. And drag into the timeline. I want our text to be upside down. But first we need to change our text. Then go to main comp, and adjust your text where you want, and go to first frame, and hit P for position, and shift R for rotation, and move text downside to the composition, and add a keyframe, then go to 10 frame forward and move the position and also change the rotation. Again, I am skipping this part so that you do not have to wait. Because you already know how to animate. After animate the text layer, select all keyframes, right click and choose toggle hold keyframe. Cool. Now we want to add drop shadow on our text, so search drop shadow effect and change softness around 50, and opacity around 40%. Now copy this drop shadow, and paste over the second text layer. Perfect. Now we want to add our photo frame. So create a new composition, this is called photo frame. And choose your width and height according to your choice. I want to change width and height around 1200 pixels. Then drag photo frame PNG into timeline. Then again create a new composition, 500 by 500 pixels. And this is called image placeholder 1. Then drag your image into the timeline. And resize according to the composition. Then go back to the photo frame composition. And drag image placeholder 1 comp into the timeline. And resize according to photo frame. Now go to the main comp. And drag photo frame comp below the crumpled white paper image. Resize the photo frame comp layer according to your choice. Then we add drop shadow effect on it. Change the softness around 120. And opacity around 40%. Now we want to animate this. So select photo frame layer and hit P for position and shift R for rotation, and add a keyframe and move the photo frame outside of the composition, then go to 10 frame forward and change the position, and rotate the layer. 
do the same with every 10 frame. So again I am skipping this part so that you do not have to wait. So after animate this, select all keyframes, right click and choose toggle hold keyframe. Perfect, it's look good to me. Our animation has done, hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.